Okay, you already know this was like 90s Despacito. 90s music is so nice because every song just has its own unique sound. So do you think you know some classic 90s music? Oh my god, no way. I don't I don't know any music that's not from our generation. Oh my gosh, why? I'm notoriously bad at this. Yeah, no, you lost me. 2000s? Yeah. 90s? That's too far back. You know, that's that's old people. I think I do not know some classic 90s music based off how I've done before, but I'm definitely gonna try my best. Sounds like 80s. This sounds like a very 80s song. I feel like I know that voice. I've heard this, but I am never gonna get this. It sounds familiar now. At the beginning it didn't, but I'm still not sure. Literally all these songs had this nice little retro to it, because that's what was in back then. So yeah, there's a retro keyboard that these people will play in the club. Do you know it? I do not know. No, I don't know it. No idea. So this is Hold On by Wilson Phillips. Nope. Okay, I would not have guessed that. It's a good song. Like, I feel like it's very 90s-esque. This song plays a big role in the 2011 film Bridesmaids, where Kristen Wiig and Maya Rudolph's characters fondly remember the song from their teen years. At the end of the movie, Wilson Phillips shows up to perform the song at the wedding. All right, all right. I've never seen Bridesmaids. I know what it is. I haven't seen that movie in about three years, and I don't really remember too much about it, but uh, it was funny from the parts that I remember. I love when people do that with movies. I think that's a great way to kind of integrate the film and the music together, just to make it more of a strong relationship. Ooh, I really like this song. I played this song all the time on DJ Hero. The beat is really familiar. Oh, that sounds familiar. I've heard that line, insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. Oh my god, I used to sing this song in the backseat of my dad's car all the time. And like, cause he'd always play it and I'm like. <laughs> Do you know it? No, I don't know that song. No idea. <laughs> I've heard this somewhere, <laughs> but I have no idea who it is. Insane in the membrane. I don't know who it's by. Insane in the brain. I want to say outcast, but I don't think it's outcast. That one is Insane in the Brain by Cypress Hill. This is Insane in the Brain by Cypress Hill. Oh, so, okay. I know Cypress Hill. I listen to them sometimes still. I've heard it through a couple of movies and sometimes when I'm listening to like old school hip hop radio, this will come up. This song is actually in the podcast I did with Tori or the Sharing Buds one. This is actually one of our songs that we listened to. Um, but yeah, no, I always like the song. It's always just one of those ones you want to bounce to. I feel like I know this one. I'm trying to think of the name though. This is good. I haven't heard this before, but this is pretty good so far. I like the guitar. Did they have Abercrombie and Fitch in the 90s? That's surprising. She's been gone since that summer. Since that summer. In the summertime, girls gotta go. I like this song. It sounds good. It sounds like something I would hear in like 10 Things I Hate About You. Kinda like I steal your honey like I stole your pride. I really find this like talk over music type of music really cringy. Do you know this one? I do not know it. I have no idea. I've heard it, I just don't know the artist. I don't know the song, but it is New Kids on the Block. It's not New Kids on the Block? No. I don't think I know the name of it, but New Kids on the Block. <laughs> they announced themselves in the beginning, so there was a hint. <laughs> nope. No? This is Summer Girls by LFO. I have no idea who LFO is. I briefly remember LFO, I guess, kind of. Not really. The song was co-written by lead singer Rich Cronin, who said that the song included numerous inside jokes and was intended to be a demo, but he never anticipated its success. Yeah, it kind of seemed, it sounds silly. Like, the lyrics are kind of silly. That's funny. I feel like a lot of, like, random songs are like that from people that are like, yeah, I never wrote this song seriously, but people liked it. When you write a song just to write a song and you really enjoy it and you're just having fun with it, those are usually the best songs because there isn't a lot of work put into them it's just what's coming out naturally. Okay, you already know.
know, this was like 90s Despacito. Oh my god, who is this? See, all of these sound so familiar, but I like just can't put my tongue on it where I know I'm from. It's so cool. 90s music is so nice because every song just has its own unique sound. Do you know it? I don't know it. No idea. I know I've heard that for sure, but I don't know who that is or what that is. It sounds like Enrique Iglesias. I just don't know the song. It's Enrique Iglesias, but I, Maya Moore? Like, I don't, I don't know what it's called. This is By La Mouse by Enrique Iglesias. Okay, I know who Enrique Iglesias is, but I do not know the song. The voice sounded fam familiar though. Oh my God, I was gonna guess that, but I was like, no, I don't feel like he made music that early. So I was like, I'm not gonna get, damn it. Okay, I was just actually right after I said I didn't know it. I, I The only person I thought of was Enrique Iglesias. It's very unique. And I think uh, that could be a reason why a lot of people like her, a reason why it blew up, which is like uh, mostly a statement for most 90s music and artists is they're all so different from each other. I know some. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. What is love? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby, don't hurt me. <laughs> don't hurt me. Oh my god, I hear this song in so many memes. Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. I can't believe this was 90s. That almost sounds 80s with like the way that the bass is going and stuff. Oh my god, this is always a fun song to dance to. Do you know it? Mm -hmm. I'm assuming it's called What Is Love, but I do not know who it's by. What Is Love? I have no idea who it's by, though. That's What Is Love. I don't know the artist. The title is called What Is Love, by I don't know the artist. This is What Is Love by Hathaway. I don't know who that is. Are they a one-hit wonder? Because I've never heard of them. I like that song. It just makes you happy. Like, I feel like everybody's going to be playing it in the club. I hear that song, and I start doing, like, the sprinkler. That's where you pull out, like, all of the old-fashioned dance moves. Like, you hear that song, and you get down, but, like, nerdy get down. Oh my god, yes. This guitar sounds really familiar. Okay, I had that one. I feel like I played this in like Guitar Hero when I was a kid. I love this song and the reason I know this song so well is because of Guitar Hero 3. My dad used to listen to this a lot too. My dad knows this song. Doesn't he know it's old? My dad knows it, it's it's ancient. So do you know it? Never heard that. I do not know what it is. Angsty song by angsty people? I've heard it like a thousand times, but I yeah, I have no idea who it is. Sabotage by Beastie Boys. Sabotage by Beastie Boys? This is Sabotage and it's by the Beastie Boys. This is Sabotage by the Beastie Boys. Sounds familiar? I'm still kind of like on the eh, no. Yes, I got one. I got one full one. I'm, there we go. Give myself one of these. I was that child who was jamming out to Sabotage and all of those songs off their old albums. I was just like, I was a fan. I was a huge fan. <laughs> oh God. What is this mess, bro? This one's Titanic. This is definitely the Titanic song. I just know this one because of Titanic. <laughs> Dude, this song, I know this one. This is like one of the biggest meme songs. Do you know it? The song title is My Heart Will Go On by, I don't know. My Heart Will Go On. It was in Titanic. Have no idea who it's by. I know it's My Heart Will Go On. Oh my God, who is it by? Holy crap. My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion. Celine Dion, My Heart Will Go On. My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion. This is My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion. Okay, I know who Celine Dion is. My mom has mentioned her to me. Uh, this song is so slow. It's so boring. There's no beats in it, it's just there. Beautiful song, I feel like no matter what, if you've seen Titanic, it just gets you a little bit in, in the feels. So this song echoes the success of the film Titanic, and amongst its 11 Oscars, it won the Academy Award for Best Song. That's insane, that's, that's so iconic. It's crazy thinking about how one song can literally change a person's life. I feel like this song is so big, 
just because it's, it was good, it was in Young Leo movie and like an amazing movie, and then eventually it turned into a meme. That's the holy the holy trinity of, of popular music. <laughs> Thanks for watching Do They Know It on the React channel. There are new shows every day. Subscribe. Hit that like button if you like this episode. What's your 90s jam? Let us know in the comments. Bye guys. Peace. What's up everyone? Alyssa here, a producer from the React channel. We have covered so much 90s content now. If you have a favorite 90s song that you haven't heard yet, chances are it's covered in another episode. So you should go check them out. See you next time.